Okay, 17. Instant lottery game gives the probability of a 0 0.02 or 2% 2 chance of winning on any one play. Plays are independent of each other. If you play three times, the probability you win on none of the plays. So what's the probability that you lose and lose and lose is about what? Well, that's... Um, since they're independent of each other, that's a probability that I lose, times the probability that I lose, times the probability that I lose. Now, since they're independent, what happens before the first time doesn't affect what happens the second time. So that's going to be uh, probability that I lose. Well, since I have a 2% chance of winning, I have a 98% chance of losing times 0.98, times 0.98. Sorry about the noise in the background. So we got 0.98 raised to the third power, which is going to be 0.94 or 94%, which in this case, well, let's just be uh, 18. Probability that you win on one or more of your three plays in the game. So probability that you win one or more. So that's a tough one because that's the probability that you win at least one. So that means you could win one or two or three. So there's a lot of different ways you could do that. Um, it's easier to calculate the complement of winning at least one. And that is one minus the probability of um, winning zero times. So this goes back to this idea right here. The probability of winning zero times plus a probability of winning at least one time must be one. Okay, this this concept here, because we've exhausted all possibilities, you either win zero times or you win at least once. That has to be one. This is a tough calculation. Winning zero times is easy. In fact, we just did that in part. In, in number 17. So number 18 is going to be 1 minus 0.94 is 0.06 or 6% of the time. Okay, and number 19. An athlete is expected to... Oh, not sure what I just hit there. Wow, whoops. Let's go back there. There we go, sorry. Um, athlete suspected of having used steroids is given two tests that operate independently of each other. Test A has a probability of 0.9 of being positive if steroids have been used. Test B has a probability of 0.8 of being positive if steroids have been used. What's well, a probability that neither test is positive if steroids has been used? Okay, that means negative and then negative. Well, what's the probability that the first test is negative? And it says they operate independently of each other, so one doesn't affect the other. So 0.1 times 0.2, which is 0 0.02. Okay, or 2% of the time. All right, there you go.